Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I want to talk about orders of magnitude. Sometimes you hear in scientific uh, articles, they talk about how big something is in a certain order of magnitude. What does that mean? Very simply means roughly how big is a number to the power of 10. Let me give you an example. Let's say I have a number, let's say 2 by 10 to the power of 3, let's say meters, it's 2 kilometers. The order of magnitude is the power that this power is in here. So in other words, the order of magnitude in this case is 3. Right? In other words, it's of the order of 10 to the power of 3. What if I now have, let's say, 8 times 10 to the power of 3? Well, the first thing you'd say, oh, isn't that 3? But hold on, this is 8 times 10 to the power of 3. So we're getting closer and closer to 10,000, which is 10 to the power of 4. Therefore, this is approaching the order of magnitude of 4. Let's look at the reverse. Let's say I start with the 2 again, but I multiply this by 10 to the power of negative 4. Again, this is 0 0.0002. So the order of magnitude is negative 4. It's certainly closer to that. So therefore, this order of magnitude... What about 9 by 10 to the power of negative 4. Well, in this case, my order of magnitude is getting close to the next power. So not 10 to the negative 4, but 10 to the negative 3. So the order of magnitude is negative 3. Now, why is that useful? Well, generally speaking, is if you're multiplying or dividing values that have these numbers here like so, then the answer is going to be the order of magnitude that is either the sum or the difference between those values. So, for example, let's say I'm multiplying these four values here, and we're going to do that in a moment. But I want to know roughly how big is the number going to be? Well, if I then, for multiplication, add the orders of magnitude, you can see the orders of magnitude in this case is zero. So therefore my final answer should be roughly in the order of magnitude of zero. So if I calculate it out, I'm going to get 2.88. Now that is closer really to one, in other words 10 to the power of zero, than it is let's say to the next one which is 10, which is 10 to the power of 1, so the order of magnitude of this is 0. Now why is that useful? Well let's say you're in an exam and you're doing lots of calculations and you want to know whether you did the calculation correct. Now you could put it into your calculator the same way you did it the first time, but what you could do is go through it and check the orders of magnitude of the values. Remember when you're multiplying you're adding the orders of magnitude. When you're dividing, you're subtracting the orders of magnitude. And so therefore, if your order of magnitude is a value that is not the same order of magnitude as your answer, you know you've made a mistake along the way. But also order of magnitudes allow you to check your answers as well as determine roughly how big some things are at the end of the day. Anyway, hope that has helped you understand orders of magnitude. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye for now.